Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I went through Wisconsin's swing offense that Bo Ryan likes to run and it's a throwback to the 50s, just like what we used to watch back then, a lot of quick passing and cutting, but they do mix in some modern stuff like pick and rolls right away. And this guy Kaminsky, it's a match made in heaven because he gets to do so many different things and attack from so many different spots, it makes him very difficult to guard. The basic motion of the swing is to do exactly that. Swing the ball from the forward spot across both guard positions to the other forward spot. The key action that happens on almost every possession is the shuffle cut, a weak side screen set for the forward cutting to the low block. While this offense is definitely old school, they do utilize the pick and roll to initiate, and it always dictates that the roll man rolls to the low block to post up. In this set, their center is looking to ball screen the wing each time, and watch how this becomes the shuffle cut to a ball side post up. It's not easy to drive to the hole with all the post ups, but they've replaced that with cutters that will kill you. Here's another example of Kaminsky coming out to ball screen the wing, but their ball handlers don't tend to attack the hoop. This set is simply spacing and movement, and Kaminsky goes from screening on the left wing to posting on the left side, to spotting up on the left wing, to spotting up at the top of the key, to posting on the right side, before finally picking and popping for the open three. It's a nice mix of old school and modern with these pick and rolls, and Jackson is really their only threat to penetrate even a little bit, which opens up the pop for Kaminsky. There are three ways to initiate, and the guard forward pass is the most common. The dribble drive often ends in a jump stop into a pseudo post up, and where this gets interesting is that a cutter who cuts to the hoop to post up on the strong side low block can then pop out to the wing for a three pointer. And this is something very few teams are used to defending. There is also the guard to guard pass to start, and they recognize how dangerous the weak side screener is since most defenses focus on the cutter. The third way to initiate is to pass to the high post, and this becomes a set similar to Horns, where they want to get a diagonal cut for their center to post up. They also allow their talent to shine, as they clear out to let Kaminsky go to work with an ISO and to demonstrate his good footwork even though he can't quite finish this play. They also utilize the UCLA high post quite a bit. With a guard forward entry pass, the guard rubs off the high post UCLA cut, then gets a pin down from the wing after the ball is swung to the high post. This ultimately gets them an okay look from three. Same play, but instead of a pin down from the wing, it's a back screen for the guard who had executed the UCLA cut. This gets them a post up, and while they find the skip for the three, Arizona defends it well. They also add a wrinkle to the UCLA offense by having the guard do a shallow cut to the weak side instead of a basket cut. On the swing, they get that diagonal cut by Kaminsky to the low block. And think about how hard he is to guard when he can take you down low, but just as easily pop out behind the three-point line and knock down the open shot. While there are rules to this offense, it is also incredibly open to interpretation. And one side effect is that you tend to get two players cutting to the same spot. And that can lead to stagnant offense and bad outside jumpers. Here's another example of setting a shuffle cut screen for Kaminsky to dive to the low post, but the weak side wing was cutting along the baseline, enabling his man to blow up that action. And that same cutter almost runs into Kaminsky again when he does post up. But the show must go on, and Wisconsin never stops. This offense is really perfect for a big guy like Kaminsky because it allows him to routinely set back screens, getting in separation, and then popping out to the wing to spot up. There are plenty of dribble pitches that again roll him to a low post position, and then another pop out to the wing for an open shot. Hardly any big man can stay with him for this long. So there you have it, sports fans. If there's an offense that's going to really annoy Kentucky, it's this one because they make 10, 11 passes on every possession and they really force you to bear down 
concentrate and stay in position. And I really haven't seen that kind of discipline from the Kentucky defense all tournament long. So it remains to be seen if they can handle that. But it also remains to be seen whether or not Wisconsin can hit the shots because the athletes of Kentucky will contest those and they're not going to be as open as they're used to getting. Although Arizona wasn't a bad test and they came out okay in that one. Should be a great game. Lots more coming up at B-Ball Breakdown. And don't forget, we're not a channel. We're a conversation. You win.